Well, another playoff season and another early exit for the Winnipeg Jets. The Vegas Golden Knights beat the Winnipeg Jets 4-1 in Game 5, and they advanced into the second round of the Stanley Cup. They will be playing either the Oilers or the Kings. But let's just talk about these Winnipeg Jets. What an absolute pathetic performance. This team is an absolute embarrassment to Jets fans. No fight. I know a few players were injured. Morrissey, Shifley, dealing with things. But you're just going to lay down and die? Their own head coach, Rick Bonus. Call him out on it. This is what he had to say. Thoughts? I'm so disappointed and disgusted right now. That's my thoughts. We had no pushback. Their better players were so much better than ours tonight. They deserve to win. They were the better team in the regular season. They were the better team in this series. Your leading point scorer was Pionk. You have to be absolutely kidding me. Blake Wheeler had six and five, but is that enough to really take you the distance? Your star players, your core needs to get you further than this. When Mike Shifley played, he was <laughs> just a ghost. You couldn't see him out there. Blake Wheeler was okay, but look how terrible this lineup was. Niederreiter was non-existent as well. Ehlers played game five, the only game in this series, and he did nothing. I don't know. I don't know what you do with this Winnipeg Jets team. They just seem like they don't care. This isn't an ancient team by any stretch of the imagination, but Blake Wheeler's making 8.25 million. I, I just think it's time that they need to shake it up, get rid of some guys, and just start anew. The Jets are in the dangerous place of being in no man's land. Pierre-Luc Dubois, he had an okay series, nothing special, and he'll most likely be gone. Is he a $6 million center? In my opinion, no. Five games played, two goals, two assists, for four points and a minus four on the series. Is that a top elite center? No. He had a decent season. But like always, the Winnipeg Jets in the postseason become irrelevant. I might even get a little bit of flack for this because I'm not going to blame it completely on Connor Hellebuck, but Hellebuck's numbers were atrocious. Five games played, one win, four losses, 3.44 goals against average, and 886 save percentage. I'm not saying get rid of Hellebuck. I think he's one of the few Jets you could build around, but looking at this roster, I think you just got to go scorched earth. They are not good enough to go far in the Stanley Cup Finals, but they're not bad enough to get you a high draft pick to maybe get a game changer. Watching these games and seeing how the Jets just had absolutely no fight is embarrassing. If I'm a Jets fan, I'm furious because if they went out fighting, clawing, and scratching, I could definitely understand. Maybe giving it another go. But time and time again, Winnipeg Jets just fail their fan base. I'd be interested to know what you think they should do down below in the comment section. Do you believe they should just completely go scorched earth like I think and just reboot the whole team? Or maybe just add a couple pieces and maybe subtract a piece or two that don't really help you out in the postseason. I'm Captain Paul. See you in the next one. This Golden Knights will be the first team to advance to the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs.